Dolphins fans, welcome in to Dolphins Today. I am Will Scott, answering your questions live here for our latest Dolphins mailbag. Appreciate all of you who submitted questions during our live show. First one coming in from Super Chat Like Mo. Get on the show. $10 Super Chat from Mo. We appreciate you, man. One of our Super Chat MVPs. He says he wants to draft Wanya Morris, the offensive tackle from Oklahoma. We need to keep two as Jersey White all year. Tight end is a luxury, in my opinion, until the O-line is secured. Those are clearly, Mo, the two biggest team needs. Offensive line and tight end. Offensive line is number one, though. Tight end is number two. And there's no, it's no secret. The Dolphins need offensive line help, especially at right tackle. Morris was the starting right tackle the last two years at Oklahoma. Did a good job in that spot. Uh, he's someone that the Dolphins could target in round three. I took him in my own mock draft last week. Zach Azinka, third rounder and said Wilson for Devin White. That might be enough to get that done. Uh, I think he'd have to eat some of the said Wilson contract, but I don't think Devin White's going to go for a massive haul because whatever team acquires him is going to have to give him a big contract. He only has one year left on his deal. A second or a third might be enough to get uh, Devin White. Probably a second, but maybe a third and a player would be enough to get that done. I would do that trade, Zach. David Storm, what's up? Do you think Darnell Washington could fall to us? David, appreciate you, man. Watch it from West Virginia. Um, Before the combine, yes. In fact, I saw a lot of mock drafts, David, that had Darnell to Miami, but... The Combine, I mean, he was just phenomenal and really raised his stock. I think there's a better chance that he goes in round one than falls to the Dolphins at pick 51 overall. I don't see a world where that happens, but if he's on the board and the Dolphins don't take him, <laughs> I think we're both going to be pretty upset, Dave. And be sure to subscribe for Dolphins news and rumors year-round. You know, a lot of Dolphins channels are just active during the season, that's not how we roll. We get you guys year-round Dolphins content. We've had you, we've had you covered throughout the offseason, so be sure to subscribe to the channel right now, youtube.com slash Dolphins News. $50 super chat from Kevin Fisher. What's up, man? We'll give you another shout-out here after this, uh, after this segment. Do you see Miami trading up in the second round? If so... Who do they target? As always, appreciate the content. Kevin Fisher, man. We appreciate you, man. Uh, you've been such a big supporter of the show since I took over last year, so I really appreciate you, Kev. Um, I don't see Miami trading up. Uh, I read an article today that was talking about that possibility, uh, but I just don't see that happening uh, because you only have four draft picks as is. You don't have any draft capital, so... It'd be hard to give up some of the picks you currently have to move up because then you're looking at maybe only two or three draft picks in this draft. I think there's a much higher chance that they move back in the draft, try to add some draft capital. However, if they trade up, I expect it to be for Darnell Washington. Let's say Darnell kind of falls middle of second round, but the Dolphins have intel that he's going to be off the board by 51 they trade up six, seven spots. They give up their second round pick next year to make that happen. I would do that in a heartbeat. And uh, that's the guy I'd go up and get. And that's the guy that I expect Miami to go up and get if they trade up. Another name to watch is maybe Matthew Bergeron, the offensive tackle uh, from Syracuse. But uh, Darnell, man, would be an, an awesome get if the Dolphins could land him. We appreciate the Super Chat again, Kevin. Carter Reimer, trade for Saquon Barkley. Hmm, interesting question. So, Saquon's going to hold out. Um, he got franchise tag. I think he, he was probably pretty disappointed about that. He wanted a new deal. He didn't get one. So a lot of people are saying, hey, could he get traded? I don't expect him to get traded. Uh, and if you trade for him, you probably have to give him a new contract. Um, I would say no to trade for Saquon Barkley. Um, I think I'd rather draft a running back third round. You did re-sign all four of your running backs. Didn't necessarily agree with that decision. Uh, but I don't expect to trade for Saquon. If the Dolphins do circle back on a running back, I think it's going to be Dalvin Cook. The franchise, what's up, man? Aaron Rodgers not going to the Jets? Actually, it's, it's possible because here's what Adam Schefter said about Rodgers to the Jets. Both sides now appear to be dug in. 
my understanding is there hasn't been a whole lot of conversation, if any, over the last couple of weeks. So, hey, Jets fans were celebrating Aaron, Aaron, getting Aaron Rodgers. That was like four weeks ago, right, when he went on Pat McAfee. There has still not been a deal official. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if the trade's going to happen before the draft, after the draft, or at all. But the fact that there has not been any communication in the past couple of weeks, uh, that's significant. And you know, what if Rodgers kind of has a change of heart and wants to retire or go to a different team? I mean, the Jets would be screwed. Will Aaron Rodgers play for the Jets? Let me know down in the comment section. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So when an ad break comes, go down, chime in, type Y for yes, or type in for no. Will Aaron Rodgers go to the Jets? Chad Jones. Who? Chad Jones. We appreciate you, man. Left tackle, tight end, guard, and wide receiver. Need a future wide receiver to replace Hill. Well, yeah, Tyreek says he's going to retire in three years. So we have three more seasons left with Tyreek. I don't think we have to worry about a Tyreek Hill replacement right now. I wouldn't mind drafting a wide receiver, Chad, um, if we had more picks. We only have four picks, and we already have a loaded wide receiver room. So I'm not in favor of drafting a wide receiver. Uh, Tank Dell is a fantastic player, and you have a chance to take him here in our fan-led mock draft. Um, and he was mocked to the Dolphins by PFF, but I don't expect the Dolphins to take a wide receiver, at least in the second or third. Sherry May. We appreciate Sherry. What is said Wilson's trade value? A sixth or a seventh, maybe. Uh, that contract is problematic. That contract's going to be hard to move. Uh, but I would say a sixth or a seventh round pick uh, is said Wilson's trade value right now. Steve James, what's up, man? Any further vibes regarding DJ Fluker? He'd be a great value pickup at right tackle. So we don't need to pick up AJ's fifth-year option. Well, they're not going to pick up AJ's fifth-year option with or without Fluker. I, I can just about promise you that. Uh, I haven't heard anything on that front. Uh, you know, when I talked to DJ, or at least after I talked to DJ last week, I told him to keep me in the loop. He named some teams. And if you haven't checked out that interview, be sure to go check that out. Fantastic conversation that I had uh, with free agent offensive tackle DJ Fluker who, of course, spent some time with the Dolphins in the 2021 offseason before he was cut with a knee injury. Um, he named some teams, Steve. Raiders. Who else did he name? Uh, Bears. Broncos. Um, and the Dolphins were not one of the teams that he named as a team that reached out with interest. So hopefully that changes because uh, that pro date Alabama was very impressive. I think it's worth giving him a shot. Uh, but no update right now on DJ Fluker, Steve. If something uh, changes, I'll let you know. Shane Russell, what's up, man? Can you sum up all the offseason for the Dolphins so far? I mean, it's been a eventful offseason. I mean, it began with firing Josh Boyer. Uh, you know, it's funny, Shane. I had a dream offseason video right after the season ended, and one of the things was firing Josh Boyer. And another thing was um, was hiring Vic Fangio, which happened. And then another thing was adding a corner, which they did in Jalen Ramsey. So there you go. Um, so it's been an eventful offseason. Obviously, you got Fangio, you got Jalen Ramsey, you bring back all four running backs, you sign David Long, you sign Malik Reed, um, you sign Braxton Berrios, which is a signing I really liked. I'd give the Dolphins offseason a B-plus right now. It's not an A because they have failed to address the offensive line uh, yet again. Very frustrating. Hanky Fins, what's up, man? Is Cam Fleming still available? Yeah, so he remains probably the best uh, offensive tackle uh, free agent still on the market. And uh, he put up pretty solid numbers in Denver last year. Uh, now, Butch Berry, the Dolphins' new offensive line coach, uh, was his offensive line coach in Denver, but apparently Berry was not very well liked in Denver, so I don't think that helps our chances of getting Cam Fleming. Uh, but Fleming is really solid, and uh, he would be an instant upgrade at right tackle if you signed him. Should the Dolphins sign Cameron Fleming? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Type S for sign or type P for pass. Lorenzo Flores. DeAndre Hopkins to the Finns. Uh, no, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think he very well could go into the division. The Patriots and the Bills are apparently after him, but uh, no. 
uh, the Dolphins are not going to trade for DeAndre Hopkins. He's a great player, but we don't need him. We have Tyreek. We have Waddle. That wide receiver room is elite. John Russell, what's up, man? Who makes the biggest jump in year two, Tyndall or Azucanma? That's a really good question, John. Really good stuff. I would say Channing Tyndall just because I think he's going to get more playing time. I still think Eric Azucanma is going to be the fourth or fifth wide receiver at best. Meanwhile, I think Tyndall's going to be right behind David Long as a backup inside linebacker. Could get some starts by the end of the season. I just think Tyndall's going to be more involved. But I'm really excited to see EZE. I think EZE is going to, I mean, he's got to get more involved. He wasn't involved at all last year. Uh, but I think EZE is going to, going to prove something this year. Zolan, what's up, man? Do you think the new QB helmet will help Tua with his concussion stay healthy? I mean, there's been some talk about, you know, changing the helmets, uh, you know, especially to his helmet. I do know that Kenny Pickett um, had two concussions, then he changed his helmet, and that seriously helped him. Uh, the Dolphins haven't said anything about changing to his helmet, uh, but I hope they do because I do think that could help. If you did not get a question in on the mailbag, you can DM me on Twitter at WillScott44. And be sure you subscribe to the channel. We got the draft coming up in a few weeks. We're going to go live next Thursday before the draft. We're also going to go live during the draft when the Dolphins make their pick in the second or third round. So you don't want to miss that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash Dolphins News. We're live every single Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So be sure to join us for our next live show.